Good evening, it's me, your girl Janice, and today what I'm going to be preparing for you guys is my blunt pan chicken. So, if you've seen the preliminary uh, video posted on my page, I kind of went into explanation as to what you're going to need to um, prepare this meal. So, briefly, you're going to need your veggies, um, potatoes, carrots, onions, you're going to pick up your red pepper, green pepper, and yellow pepper. Also, you're going to need your uh, seasonings if you don't already have them. The seasonings that I'm going to be using, uh, dry basil, some dry rosemary and dry thyme. And also I have fresh thyme and fresh rosemary. Okay. Also, I added one seasoning um, that I thought would be good with this dish and that's going to be my uh, smoked paprika. paprika. And I will be injecting the bird with my Tony Saturus injectable butter. Okay, this is going to give your bird flavor all the way through to the bone. You hear me? To the bone. I'm also going to be seasoning with some Slap Your Mama white pepper seasoning. Slap Your Mama. You're going to need some um, EBOO, your extra virgin olive oil. Okay, I've done some prep already, and these are my veggies I have here. Y'all can take a look in there. That's my carrots, potatoes, onions. I have whole cloves of garlic. I'm using about three. Three cloves of garlic. Um, I have my um, pearl onions that I'm going to be using. And that is it for the veggies. And now to prepare the bird, okay? So I've already washed the bird. And what you kind of want to do is just pat it dry. Okay, get them nice and dry. Get them all prepared. I gave them a little shower. Now I'm drying them off, okay? There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to oil my birdie down on the outside all over and I also want to season my birdie so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to season him on the inside all right got that in the inside there Now I am going to um, go ahead and oil the bird with some uh, extra virgin olive oil or EVOO and just rub it down real good. I'm going to move this out of the way so you guys can see what's going on. him down give him a nice massage I could go for a massage right by now I had a long day at work and this is also going to help uh, with the browning of your bird give him a nice golden color and flip him over get that other side okay just a little bit more that side all right here we go nice massage nice birdie okay next what i'm going to do is i'm going to inject the birdie with a butter seasoning injection seasoning and I have an injection syringe and it comes with a marinade that I purchased and I also have a couple of these in my drawer I keep a couple on hand just in case and what I'm going to do 
just draw some of the marinade up into the syringe. Okay. I'm going to get the thigh area. And when you bite into the meat, once this is done and ready, and you're, you have served it, and you're at your table getting ready to eat, oh man, you're going to bite into all this flavor. Can y'all guys see that? And it doesn't matter how much of the uh, marinade you inject with, the more flavoring or seasoning, the better. This is a small bird, so this is about how much I'm using right about now, okay? I also do this with my um, turkeys and my roast and my brisket. So now you know the secret. Inject, inject, inject. Yummy. Some of you guys may have seen this um, floating around on time on your timeline on Facebook. The butt pan chicken. If you haven't seen it done my way, have you? No, you haven't. gonna make sure I got it nice and juicy getting all up under the skin I'm gonna turn them over get that breastplate Get it real good. I'm gonna use all of that. Okay. So I got them all nice and injected. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, add some seasonings, more seasonings. I'm going to wash my hands here a bit. Yes, hunty, yes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is going to add a little bit of uh, the Slap Your Mama on the outside here. I like my food with a little kick. And I'm going to turn them over. This side. All under the wings. All right, there we go. We're getting it in. All right. Next, I'm going to add my dry herbs. Side here. Let me just go ahead and get a little bit of everything on this side first. 
then we'll tip them over. And now I'm going to put the um, smoked paprika. And then I'm going to turn them over. And do this a little more on this side. Smelling good already. Okay, so we have our bird all seasoned up and we're just about done with getting him ready. So what we want to do next is I'm going to go ahead and get my butt pan ready. Because our bird is ready to have a seat. we're going to be adding our veggies. Okay, got that ready. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead. I'm going to move them to the side here for a little bit. put our veggies in our butt pan. Goodness. Here, one more cup. Okay, so I'm going to get our veggies and add our veggies to our butt pan. Just like that. I'll show you guys here in a little bit. I'm sticking whole cloves of garlic in there. Just I'm gonna leave them whole. And uh, my pearl onions, I just left them whole. Potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. We get all the potatoes in there.
I use about six potatoes. Use as many as your pan can hold. That seemed to be a pretty good amount for this pan. Carrots, red potatoes, red peppers, yellow peppers, more carrots. Okay, dokie. About as much as I can get in here. Use the leftover vegetables for something else. Any carrots in there. Veggies in. Isn't that beautiful? Now we got to get our birdie in. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little oil, olive oil, on the veggies. And that hole that's in the center of your bump pan, you're going to cover that hole with foil. Okay? I know everybody's about to say, but what about the hole? No worries. You're going to take a little foil. And you're going to cover that hole. Like so. Okay. Like so. Alright. Then you want to take your birdie and sit him right over that hole. Get up here, birdie. All right. So you want to sit your birdie right over that hole. to do is I like to tie their legs. It looks nicer when it's on the plate when you go for presentation. So I have some kitchen string here. This kitchen string, you can purchase it in the little kitchen section at your little grocery store. And I'm going to cut off a nice piece here. And I crisscross Birdie's legs. Now I'm just going to tie them. Cut that excess string off. Okay. So far, so good. So we got my birdie sitting on our little bed of veggies here. Right, got them all nice and tight. 
Now what I'm going to do next is I am going to cut little slits in the side right in that crease here, right there in that crease, right there. I'm going to cut a little slit there and I'm going to stick Birdie's wing inside so that when it cooks, it will cook like close to his body. And also what I do is, you know how when you get your chicken, it has that little neck part sticking up? I know it probably doesn't bother anybody else in the whole wide world, but I don't like that. So what I do is I take that part and I tuck it in. Okay? So I'm going to cut my little slit just enough to get that wing to go in there. So, see how that's sitting in there? Birdie's sitting pretty. Got his legs crossed, wings at side. I'm gonna turn him. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Right in that little crease. Just enough to tuck his wing in. Oh, that birdie is sitting pretty. Sit, birdie, sit. All right. All right. How is that? Awesome. Birdie's going to take a selfie. All right. So we got Birdie sitting all pretty. He's all seasoned inside, seasoned outside. We've injected him with the Creole butter. Now it's oven time. I have my oven preheated to 425 degrees. And we're going to roast him for about 90 minutes. It depends on the size of your bird also. But what you want to make sure is that you reach an internal temp of 165. I have two um, kitchen thermometers that I use. I have uh, the regular dial one. You'll see them in the kitchen section, uh, wherever you shop. And it has a chart on the sleeve of it. And it'll tell you the temperature that your food should be internally, depending on what it is that you're cooking. So for chicken or poultry, it will tell you it needs to be at least between 165, 170 for an internal temp. And this is my digital one. It's more like an instant read. It's like really quick. I love this one. Got it at the grocery store. And it also has a sleeve. And it'll tell you the temperature of your poultry, your beef, or whatever it is that you're cooking. So you definitely want an internal temp of at least 165. Okay, guys, so um, once you get all your veggies in and um, you have your bird seasoned and he's all sitting nice and pretty, um, he's about ready to go in the oven. So this is kind of what the pre-cook stage looks like. He's all nice, sitting sexy there, legs crossed. I'm going to hold on to this part and tilt the pan so you can see inside. Those are our veggies in there, our fresh veggies, fresh herbs, rosemary and thyme. Okay, and uh, you're going to season your potatoes, season your veggies with the same thing you season your chicken with. Then you're going to put a, a little bit of um, EVO on your uh, veggies as well and just kind of toss them a little bit. And um, then it's going to be ready to go in the oven. So I'm about to put this bad boy in the oven and he's going to bake for about 
90 minutes so about an hour and a half or so and when we come back i'll show you what it looks like okay if you guys like my videos keep commenting keep sharing uh keep hitting that like button and i'll keep cooking isn't he beautiful or oh, i should say handsome if i'm gonna say he isn't that pretty gorgeous all right guys we're going in the oven and the next time you'll see Ferdy, he'll be nice and ready to eat See you guys later.